Hello creatives, this is Q from Art and Tinker. In this video, we'll talk about importing, exporting, and some useful tips to get you started on your Tinkercad journey. To import an object, click on the import button and pay attention to the format and file size that Tinkercad will accept. Now we are going to look for a 3D model that we can import. I recommend a low poly file to keep the file size small and look for one that is free for public use. I'm going to download it in OBJ format and import it into my Tinkercad. Now the width of the object is a bit bigger than my work plane so I'm going to scale it back and wait for it to get imported. Unfortunately our turtle won't be white but we can always recolor later. Okay, so the turtle is ginormous. Um, I'm going to edit my work plane to a bigger size so that I can accommodate this huge turtle. Notice you can also update the units as well for your work plane if you prefer to work in inches instead of meter. I'm also going to rotate the turtle so it can find its feet on the ground. Again, I'm going to use the precise method here and input in 0 for ground level. Similar to the scribble tool, with an imported object, I can resize and rotate and color it. However, Tinkercad won't allow me to modify and fine-tune the shapes the same way that it allows me to do so with other shapes ready-made inside Tinkercad. Given this limitation, there are still ways we can make this turtle our own design. One thing we can do is to attach other shapes onto the turtle. Using our work plane tool, we can attach a cone onto the turtle's back and we can group it together and make it a new shape. However, we can also make our cone negative and combine it with our turtle. We can use this method to carve interesting design onto our imported 3D model. I'm going to undo my carving and um, adding some spikes to um, add a little bit of jazz to my turtle's shell. And as you can see, it takes a lot of clicking and dragging. So I really recommend that you memorize and use the keyboard shortcuts. I also recommend to set a timer to remind you to save your work every 10 minutes. Um, because it's really frustrating if your computer crash and then you realize that you lost two hours um, worth of work because this is a very simple design and um, usually is a lot more complicated than this. I also recommend a bottle of water, a pair of blue light filter glasses, and just take breaks often. Okay. So I think I am finished here with the spiky design. Before I can export my model, I'm going to select everything and group them together. And I'm going to click on the multicolor button because I kind of like the purple spikes and the yellow turtle look. To export, we simply go up to the export button. Now remember that OBJ format However, does not Tinkercad contain will colors. give you an MTL file that has the texture and color of your turtle in it. OBJ is used in a lot of software. Uh, also GLB uh, is very popular as well. I like to have both. And if you want to do laser cutting of your design, then there's SVG. But I'm just going to pick OBJ for now. That's it for this video. We are almost at the end of my Tinkercad for Absolute Beginner series. 
So in the next video, I will be giving you some more Tinker Cat tips as well as ideas on how to take your 3D design to the next level. If you like this video and enjoy your lesson today, hit the like and subscribe button. Also remember to check out the Imaginar Art Call from the Arroyo Arts Collective. Again, this is a paid opportunity, so tell your friends, tell your friends' friends and submit your design as early as possible. I'm looking forward to see your submission. Once again, this is Q from Art and Tinker. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.